think I'm perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm perfect. All right, what's going on, people on YouTube? It is your boy <clears throat> Obey Juice coming y'all with another banger, man. And uh, if you haven't seen the video for this, um, I mean, this thing is pretty much a walking beast of a utility truck. Um, and we managed to make this thing a 1300 horsepower truck, but still, you know, with it being so heavy, um, it lost in the last episode on the drag strip. So, I mean, you know, stuff like that was supposed to happen, but we never settled for less. Never. So we have uh, a Porsche. Um, what is this? A Porsche 911 Carrera. It's a 4S. Um, so basically, um, we have uh, the DLC stuff. And I mean, it comes in handy for real, for real. So what we're going to do is we're going to take as much stuff as possible off. And since this is a boxer motor, um, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a it's gonna be a little different. Just a little bit. But I won't I won't cap you though. Here. So this is what we got. We got all of this to, to take apart. I know that's gonna seem like it's boring, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get this thing up out of here. And then while doing so, um, you know have fun at it so um knowing that this is going to take a little bit of a process um from the other episode uh when i was doing the motor swap i for sure for sure had fun doing that because you know obviously motor swapping in this game um they only let you do like a couple things they don't let you go like full send it like how I'm doing it. And, you know, it kind of sucks, yeah. Because it's like you want to have as much fun as possible. But, um, you know, the game just, it just doesn't allow you to, um, you know, expand your creativity. It's kind of it's kind of messed up. But and that's why if you play on PC, it's like, yeah, PC is the way to go. Because you literally have so much you know possibilities that you can do and i don't even have to put a boxer motor in there you know what i'm saying i can i can do whatever you know i can go further than that you know what i'm saying so i don't even necessarily have to um you know what i'm saying take i'm just taking my time bro taking my time with this thing oh, i forgot to take the outer tire right off take the inner one out then we go ahead and get the knuckle then we get all this out now the thing with this is since this is a rear mounted motor, um it's gonna sit kind of funny if I was to put like any motor in the back. So that's why I'm just like chilling, you know what I'm saying? Like this thing is gonna be a nice project. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh it's gonna take a little bit, you know. It's gonna take it's gonna take a little bit of time, just a little bit, nothing crazy. But we're gonna have fun, bro, regardless. So taking all this off, um, getting all this down, getting all that off, taking off the outer tie rod. Um, taking off the inner one. And then we gotta take the whole subframe. And we might as well take the front diff, take all that. So now this thing has nothing but just the motor back there, which is perfectly fine. Um it's the engine cover. And then boom, there's the motor. So how we gonna do this is uh we're gonna take the Porsche. And since we know we got everything disconnected, we can pull the motor out from underneath, pretty much. Um, now, instead, if we wanted to, we could throw the same motor in there, or you could just have a little bit more fun. But, I don't know. Because, look, if I put this back here, 
Look at this. This this damn thing, the, the motor, it's not even nowhere near, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it's, it's a big ass motor. That junk, that junk is drooping underneath the, the, the shit. That's crazy. Okay. So what we gotta do is, we gotta actually build one. Cause I've never done one before. And I don't know how much power it's actually gonna push down to the wheels. Um, just because of the fact that it is, um, you know, cause the motor is small. Don't get me wrong. It is a small motor. Um, it's just putting it all together is where, you know, stuff can get a little hectic. Um, cause it can get confusing. Trust me. It will be confusing. Especially if it's your first time seeing one. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, what in the world is going on? So, this is the top half of the motor. And then you got the other side of the motor. So, this thing come with two turbos. It's a twin turbo jump, bro. So, and uh, I don't know how they reinforce, um, you know, this type of motor to be able to have twin turbos but i know sometimes if you put too much stress on the boxer engine it sometimes will grenade itself and uh you know that's never a good thing you don't want an engine to just completely grenade itself trust me um so we build in the engine you know we're getting everything mocked up and then i'm gonna end the gameplay after i get this motor put together um and put it in the car so then we'll have this video done and then i'm gonna come back with another banger you already know they don't just stop here they don't never just stop they keep on going putting these coils in and we got the other turbo boom now in here i forgot you gotta put the, the camshaft bearings and stuff put all the rod caps um since this side of the block, which is the top half of it, um, it is kind of weird. Like I said, this 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 is a weird motor um, being sideways, and uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a little different. It's not gonna be like too terrible, but that's why this casing is open um, because of that. I think it was yes, yeah, one more back here. Okay, now I can put the oil pan on. Okay, so now I can rotate this the other way. Got the fuel rail sitting right there. And it's another one on that side, which is right there. And you have the big throttle body oil filter. And you can put the flywheel on. Put the clutch plate on. Pressure plate on. The bearing. The fuel filter. Now, that is pretty much the boxer motor put together from the flow up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and throw this in here. And yeah, we got this thing in there. And see how it's not like drooped all the way down. Like it's supposed to be just like that. So that's perfect. Uh, on the other hand, I don't know what the hell was going on with the other junk. I said, boy, that junk was crazy. It's hey. But yeah, um, so what we gonna do is we gonna we gonna start the gameplay right here. Um, we gonna continue on after this. Right now, this car has nothing holding it like at all, no subframe, no nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and you know do all that. Honestly, if I was to put this motor in with no subframe cradle or whatever, that that shit would have dropped to the ground. But anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. And in the gameplay so if you did enjoy the first part uh you know what i'm saying give your boy a thumbs up <clears throat> subscribe if you're new share the video and i'll catch on next one peace Ciao.